in this episode of On Two Wheels. Sand. <laughs> Snow. Here we go. And the twisties in between. This is the California Triathlon on Husqvarna's 701. Very warm welcome, viewers, to On Two Wheels. And do you know why it's such a warm welcome, even though it's the middle of winter? Because it's California. One of the things people love to say about California is that you can surf and ski in the same day if you want to. And seeing as it's what we do, we decided to surf some motorcycles into the mix. That's right, which means we're gonna have to ride from the sand to the snow on a bunch of twisty roads, and we're gonna have to do it in one day. And we're gonna do it on these. Behold, Husqvarna's new 701s. You got your supermoto, and you got your enduro. We're talking long travel suspension, we're talking upright moto ergos, and punchy engines. These bikes have as much character as they have torque. In other words, the perfect bikes to take on our California triathlon. But we do have to jump into that wild blue yonder over there. Do we have to? It's well, be cold. we promised ourselves we'd do it's it. It's a nice sunny day and all, but that water is gonna cause some shrinkage. Yeah, we're from New England, we got this right. All right, man, it's like a band-aid, just gotta tear it off. Let's do this. A lot colder than we thought it was going to be. Good, good solid body surf. Let's start that. the day off. Try some bikes. Look out, look out, look out! <laughs> Stand up wheelies for days. They can't believe how easy this is. This is insane fun. Thank goodness for torque, man. You can just slide these things for days. Man, that is a lot of fun. Riding around the beach is a blast. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. I can't believe how much traction I have with these freaking road tires. Seriously, I would be content to do this all day, but I think the park rangers are getting a little fed up, and honestly, we got somewhere to be. We're burning daylight. That's right, we gotta make that ski run. All right, man, let's well, hit let's it. Let's do it. These roads we've been riding today are exactly what they had in mind when they made these bikes. Whether it's like shooting off a paved road or carving up twisties, they're freaking awesome. And I think it says a lot about the platform that Husky came up with, that you can like have dirt tires on or street tires, and it's freaking awesome fun. Yeah, I mean, these bikes look pretty similar, but the reality is there are some key differences. Yeah. I'm in the Enduro model. I got 18 inch, 21 inch tires. That's gonna give me access to the whole range of motocross knobbies. This thing also has super long travel suspension. I got my little skid plate. I mean, it's basically an oversized dirt bike with a license plate. And the Supermoto makes me wonder why they stopped building these things 10 years ago. It's freaking awesome. Because it looks Dude, it's super sexy. That is, a, that is an aggressive, sporty, awesome looking little motorcycle. Yeah, it's really cool. 17 inch wheels and tires means access to any kind of sport or sport touring tire. You can put slicks on it if you want to. And the steering is super, super direct. The suspension's a little bit shorter, and because it's a street bike, it's geared a little bit taller. I'm jealous of the way that bike looks, and I'm jealous of all the traction you've got on the pavement, but I'm also a little jealous of your seat height, because I'm 5'10", <laughs> and this thing is like 35 and some change. Man, it is hard for me to climb on here. Like, for tall riders, for more skilled riders, obviously not a problem, but it's definitely just something to consider that this thing has a really tall seat height. I do wish it sounded a little bit less like a lawnmower, but obviously that's a quick aftermarket fix. Yeah, I mean, singles aren't usually very dynamic. They don't have a lot of character, and they're usually pretty vibey, but these things have 
tons of torque. Like, you do not need to rev this engine. The character of the motor, like you say, is unbelievable. It's so cool. Yep. Well, final stage of California Triathlon about to make it happen. I have not been on a snowboard in, I don't know, five or six years. <laughs> we didn't really think that out, did we? No. Oh, man. All right, man. If there's one thing our viewers like, it's watching us fall down. <laughs> Very good point. Let's give them a shot, shall we? Pretty wicked that we were in the Pacific this morning. Super wicked. <laughs> Look at this fresh powder, man. Yeah. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sick white out. We have accomplished the third stage of our California triathlon. Yes! We are victorious! We are triathletes! And you know what? Never thought I was gonna end a day of riding moto by going snowboarding. It's yeah, pretty fantastic. Seriously. It's pretty freaking cool. Okay, well, here we are, back on stools. But that was a pretty epic day, man. I mean, I'm surprised we pulled it off. I had my doubts, I have to say. Yeah, I did as well. But you know what, man? Riding these bikes and all those different roads, all those different environments, just kind of exposed how awesome they are as motorcycles. Yeah, and what a good platform Husky created. I mean, they're a lot of fun, both of them. Yeah, absolutely. They're premium bikes, man. Like, top line of components, really good suspension, brakes, really well put together. But that's not to say we didn't have our problems with them. Truth, yeah. Those uh, sexy 17-inch wheels so on sick. the Supermono <laughs> have those sweet little lines of tape on there, but they are peeling off because it is tape and not paint. And Aries horn stopped working. But hey, you know, with Euro charm, you get Euro quirks. There are probably lots of other bikes on the market that don't have those quirks, but frankly, they're not as much fun. Yeah, they're not gonna be as much fun as these things. But the elephant in the room is the price. Premium bikes, premium price tag. We're talking $11,300, and that's not for both of them. That's each. Yeah, that's a lot of coin for basically a hopped up dirt bike, right? And so do you get one of these, or do you get an FZ07 and a CRF250L? Mm, yeah, tough question. You could pretty much get two bikes for the price of one of these. Basically. But, assuming you could afford it, which one of these are you gonna buy, is that quartz? Oh, uh, I gotta get the Supermoto. It just looks too awesome, and it's too much fun on the road, and frankly, when I rode down some dirt roads and on yeah. the beach, it was amazing it was fun. fun, it's so cool. I am right there with you, man. I rode the Enduro all day, but I'm a street guy at heart, I like mm -hmm. lean, I would definitely go for the Enduro. And you know what you could do? I you do. really wanted to. I do, tell it, tell, tell the people, tell America what they could do. You could do like those old Supermoto guys used to do, and you just keep the dirt wheels off your dirt bike. So you'd have to order them for the Supermoto, but you can get these wheels, throw them on your Supermoto, get your knobbies, go ripping off road whenever you want. That's right. That's two bikes for the price of 1.1. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, so we had a tremendous adventure on these motorcycles, and I think basically what it boils down to is that if you got a crazy idea, you should do it. Get on your motorcycle, call your buddies, make a plan, get on whatever bikes you have, and just go have a good time. Come up with an excuse to ride around on motorcycles. That's basically what we do, and it's fun every single time. Yep, so that's it for this episode <laughs> of On Two Wheels. Please leave your comments below, make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you next time. In this episode of On Two Wheels, salty water, water vapor, and frozen water. This is getting wet with Husqvarna 701s. <laughs> 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 <laughs>